Hey everybody, it's just me this month. Everybody else is in the camper trying to stay warm on this cold and snowy day. So I thought I'd come out in the barn and make the update video. This month, I didn't think everything was going as it should have been as far as progress on the camp for me because it's been raining a lot, which means I had to kind of redirect my work. And then it's, when it wasn't raining, it was snowing. And when it wasn't raining and snowing, it was cold, wet, and muddy and equipment breaking down. So been plenty to do, been staying busy, but just not what I thought it should be. And then God reminded me of Matthew 28, 19. Jesus wasn't, what well, didn't say make disciples of all those that come to visit you, all those that come to your church, all those that come to, come to your place of work or to your camp or to your ranch or somebody in the future. He meant it as everybody. So, so I've been having to push myself to work on that because after all, I live on mission. Every minute of every day, is supposed to be focused on, I mean, that's that's what I do, right? So I've, I've had to make every trip to Lowe's count. I've been pushing myself for that. Every trip to Home Depot, Sam's Club, gas station. And speaking of gas, gas is high, right? I was thinking about the gas pump the other day as it was tripping $100. You know, it's a lot of mission money right here. I got to make this count. Well, every cent counts if I share Jesus as a go. There's no price on a soul. So every minute, every day, Make it a priority. Show the love of Christ Show and and share the gospel with somebody. And just make it a point. Start with one. Then make it two. Then make it three. That's my goal anyway, just to grow each day in, in that aspect. And we did make some progress on the camp. We've been burning brush piles. We've been uh, clearing a little bit of land, but we've, we've done some grading from all the washing out from rain on the dry days. We've done a little bit of fencing. Been trying to gear up, get stuff, materials together, get ready for this, a big push in the spring. We've uh, the sawmill and the red poppy tractor. We've been building, started a shed to try to cover them, get them out the weather so they'll last longer, and so we don't have to cover them up every time we use them and save a few minutes every day. And just be good stewards of what we've been blessed with and what the Lord's provided for us to use here, because we got we got a ways to go, and we get the equipment's got to last, and I'm tired of working on it. Even the new sawmill, I had to work on it, but that's a whole nother story. But anyway, on behalf of Eli, I'd like to say we love you, and we'll see you next time.